Hello everyone, this is Justin with Green Residential. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to light a gas water heater with an electronic gas valve. So before you take any steps towards lighting your water heater, you wanna make sure that you even need to light your water heater. Not all water heaters need to be lit. If you have an electric water heater, it does not require lighting. However, if you have a gas one, it does. The way you can tell if you have a gas water heater is if you have a vent coming out of the top. Now the first step in lighting a gas water heater is to read the instructions. Those instructions should be on the tank. It's really important that you read through those instructions and understand them. In this video, I'm going to be lighting this type of valve. Now this is considered an advanced valve. However, I've seen it on many water heaters, so there's a good chance that you have this valve as well. Now, before lighting anything, you want to smell for gas. Make sure to smell around gas pipes, gas fittings, gas valves. Get down low. Some gases are heavier than air. If you do smell gas, you don't want to light any appliance. You don't want to touch any electrical switch. You don't want to use your phone. Your instructions should have provisions of what you should do in the event that you do smell gas. But suffice it to say, you want to get outside the building where it is safe to use your phone and call your gas supplier. Let them know that you have a gas leak. If you can't get a hold of them, call the fire department. But assuming you don't have a gas leak, the next step is to make sure that the gas valve to the gas supply line is open. And the way you can tell that it is open, the handle should be in line with the pipe. Now, if it's perpendicular, that would indicate that it's off. Now, this is an older gas valve. You may have a newer looking one that looks like this. But just make sure the handle is in line with the gas pipe, and that way the valve will be open. Now with this electronic valve, there are a few key features. There's this dial here that you can choose the water temperature. You can also choose different modes, for example, off or pilot. There's a status light, and then there is the igniter button. So the dial should be in the off position to begin with. Now this electronic valve. It's considered an advanced electronic valve and it has circuitry in it that makes you wait 10 minutes between lighting sessions. That's important to note. The reason for this is it allows any potential gas that was floating around to dissipate before trying to light your water heater again. So what you want to do is you want to make sure your dial is turned from off to pilot. Now once it's in pilot mode, you want to press the dial in with the dial pressed in, you want to hit the igniter button once every second. Now a session is roughly going to be around 90 seconds. So you have 90 seconds and you can hit it once every second. And your goal is to get the status light to start blinking. If you fail to get the status light to start blinking within that 90 second attempt, then you will need to turn it back to off and you'll need to wait another 10 minutes before doing another session. Now you can do three of these sessions. After that, you're gonna need to call a professional to light this water heater because something may be wrong with it. If in one of your three sessions you get a solid red light, you'll need to treat it as one of the sessions. So basically you stop, put the dial back in the off position, wait 10 minutes, and then try again. So once you see that status indicator begin to blink, what you can do is you let go of the dial, you can stop pressing the igniter button, and you can turn the dial to the desired temperature you want, such as hot. Once you do this, you should hear the burner kick in. You can remove the cover at the bottom, and there should be a little window where you can peer into and see the actual flame from the burner. So once you see that flame, you know that you have been successful in lighting your water heater. The water should begin to heat up. Speaking of water temperature, there are some water heaters that allow you to manually turn the temperature up quite hot. There should be notices on your water heater talking about the dangers of water temperature that is above 125 degrees. You really don't want to go above that as it can scold you and it's dangerous. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, it'd be much appreciated if you hit that thumbs up button. I'm so glad you caught this video. I hope you catch my next one. Have a great day and bye for now.